Welcome to this learning how to do the offset procedure on our Optimax I machine. Warning. Read and fully understand the operator's maintenance and safety manuals before using or servicing this machine. Failure to follow operating, maintenance or safety instructions could result in serious injury. First remove the waste bin and the cover at the right hand side. Go to the offset procedure page in your display and follow the procedure step by step. Unlock the screen and press OK. The display will ask you to remove the cover at the right hand side and also the stopper. Remove the stopper with an Allen key and make sure you don't lose it. Press pick finding. Next we are going to enter the gauge into the housing while moving the rotor up and down. Insert the gauge until you feel a certain resistance. You will see you still have around 1 cm of thread left on the gauge. Remember this is just an indication and is not an exact science. You can do a visual check by looking into the gear housing. If you have reached this point stop turning. Turn the gauge 1 revolution extra into the housing of the pick finding device. You can do a visual check by looking into the gear housing. If you've done everything correctly you will see that you have moved the gear with the gauge until they are just clicking into each other with the bevel side of the gears. Make sure the gears are not loose. Press next and pick finding. Move the rotor shaft minimum 4 times max up and down. The movement is about plus minus 3 degrees. Check if the gears are moving when moving the rotor shaft up and down. Press next and pick finding. If the measurement is not done correctly the machine will ask you to do the whole procedure over again. If the measurement is correct the display will ask you to remove the gauge. Next you have to do the synchronization. Press pick finding. Check if the machine is in crossing. If this would not be the case you will have to do the synchronization procedure. Press pick finding. Your offset procedure was successful, otherwise the machine will ask you to do the procedure over again. 
place the stopper back into the housing, don't forget to use Loctite 243 and hand tighten. Place the right hand side cover back. Make sure that you put this cover back straight onto the machine, so you don't break the cover and there are no leakages. Hand tighten the bolts. The penultimate step is placing the sumo cover back. Hand tighten the bolts. After placing the waste bin back you can restart the machine. Thank you for watching. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.